Have you ever clicked to watch a random YouTube video, short film, a music video, or get this, maybe a movie trailer, and then clicked off as soon as you saw a sucky looking title? I mean, heck, you could have been missing a cinematic masterpiece, and sometimes you are, but you proactively made the assumption that amateur looking titles probably would mean an amateur looking movie beyond those titles. It's actually really interesting to think about, right? And it really emphasizes the importance of incorporating good looking titles in all of your visual projects. Okay, so what makes a title good though? Guess what, I got my own checklist. Personally, I break it down into three things. The first one I'll expand on later, the second one will surprise you, and the third one will absolutely blow your mind. And guess what guys, if you stay till the very end, I'll show you four of my favorite title packs. Number one on my checklist is that titles cannot look like templates. If you incorporate any titles in your work, it's best that they look like they were made completely from scratch. And we're gonna talk about this later though, that there are actually text templates that exist that do not look like templates at all. They look amazing and they basically make you look like you are the best VFX artist in the entire world. Rule number two on my checklist, titles need to pop from the background. Now, how do you ensure that they pop from the background? You can utilize thick fonts. You can utilize textured services like CRT texturing, glitching, or the use of color gradients, or even the use of bevel and emboss effects. The last way to make titles pop is you can utilize literally real or perceived object to depth, like in these dope thick looking stickers. So number three on my checklist is that titles need to rest inside the TV screen, not on top of it. This basically means that the titles need to look like they are actually a part of the underlying footage and not just resting on top of it. So what do I mean by this exactly? Basically, all footage recorded from an actual camera will contain some amount of noise and your perfectly crisp digital titles in your video editor will never contain noise. If you add fake noise to your titles, it goes a long way to helping them blend with your footage seamlessly instead of seemingly resting on top of it. In the effects tab, just search for noise and grain and then drag it on top of any titles that you have. All right guys, now check this title pack out. We'll link it in the description as title pack one. Lower thirds, which are basically smaller titles in the lower corner of the screen, are especially hard to visually perfect because the small font tends to get lost in the background. The attempt to solve this usually results in a blocky corporate looking ugly shape being placed behind the titles. And regardless of the way that the title and the shape are configured, it just never seems to actually work. Now here's the secret regarding how to perfect a lower third. Ditch the ugly shape and instead use a thicker font to allow those titles to punch through the background perfectly. And for an extra 20 points, animate those titles in using an elastic bezier, not linear motion keyframes, so that they smoothly move into place with the grace and precision of a dancer, as opposed to just sliding in abruptly. Guys, great lower thirds are really, really hard to come by. A lot of you guys, literally thousands and thousands of you guys over the years know this. You've gone into the description, you've signed up for a discounted Element subscription, and then you've gone on to Elements, which is this massive library that has tons of incredible title packs, and you've scrolled down and you've scrolled, 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 trying to find the perfect lower third that follows all of the rules that I was stating up above. While navigating through the vast selection may take some time, the platform offers a wealth of options. As a subscriber of Elements for the last eight years, I've delved deep into their collection and now I'm here to streamline your search. Think of me as your guide, having already handpicked one title for you and I'm ready to present three more. The next title pack that I'll link in the description is, I'll call it title pack two. And check this out, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they look at a cinematic trailer pack like this and assume that it's only for short films. But check this out, most modern forms of visual media, whether it be music videos, commercials, etc., however, draw their visual legitimacy and authenticity and appeal from the techniques and styles developed during the feature film era. Therefore, by using cinematic or film titles in a music video, for instance, you're actually giving it a look that's been refined and validated over years in the film industry. This not only elevates the production value of your work, but also connects it to the rich visual storytelling tradition of cinema. I used a trailer pack just like this in a music video that I shot in Dallas, Texas not too long ago. It really hooked the viewers into the intro. Okay, so now let's move over to title pack three. 
This solves the problem of having intro titles that look cheap and flat. These gorgeous titles have a ridiculous amount of perceived spatial depth. Now listen to me closely. The more depth in intro titles, the better. This is again, just my opinion. So we're talking about depth. What is it about depth? Um, I feel like depth just gives titles a more weighty and legitimate look. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It just looks better. One effective way to create a sense of depth is through the use of contrasting light and color intensities. This technique involves positioning elements with varying degrees of brightness or different colors against each other in a scene. When contrasting lights are used, it creates a sense of spatial difference. Brighter areas tend to come forward in our perception while darker areas seem to recede. The title's glistening reflective surfacing with its animated shimmer offers plenty of contrasting areas, giving a depth that significantly enhances its visual appeal. Title Pack 4 can be described as one of the sickest looking packs that I've ever seen. And I'll break it down in exactly 10 seconds. Think of it as pure texture, perfectly simulating a CRT effect. I really like how it circumnavigates the need for potentially laggy Premiere Pro Mogarts or any system locking project files by offering each letter individually as a video file. That's it for now.